often referred to as the Japanese Fire Festival, the Nebuta Festival is the pride of Aomori. Millions of tourists flock to the city every year to take in the sights and sounds of Nebuta. Nebuta's origins are believed to lie in lantern festivals such as this one. People held these festivals in an attempt to drive away feelings of drowsiness during the dog days of summer. Towards the end of April, the Nebuta artists set up their tents and get to work on their floats. They start by building the float structure using a combination of timber and wire. Next, lights are attached to the frame. High quality Japanese paper is then carefully attached to the float onto which the artist draws the outlines of the float's design. They then complete the float by adding colour. Finally, the float is loaded onto a truck, allowing the creator to see the fruits of their labour. The Nebita Festival is held every year from the 2nd to 7th of August. The floats are 9 metres wide, 7 metres long and 5 metres tall, weighing in at 4 tonnes. Guided by their trusty fan-wielding conductor, 30 float operators push and pull their Nebita all over the parade route, allowing all spectators present. The heart and soul of Nebita, armed with flutes, taiko and hand cymbals, the bands give the festival its world-famous atmosphere. The dancers are known for their colourful costumes. One of the best parts of Nebita is that as long as you're wearing the traditional outfit, anyone can join in the fun as a dancer. The final day of Nebita is the only day that has a lunchtime parade. grand showpiece on the final night. Prize-winning floats are paraded on boats in the harbour, while an epic fireworks show unfolds in the background. However, there's more to Aomori than just Nebuta. The Bay Area, for one, is full of sights to see. For starters, there's A Factory, which sells all kinds of local produce such as Sidra, alcoholic apple cider. There's also the majestic Hakkoda Maru, the world's first train ferry museum, and Asma, which sells every Aomori themed souvenir you could imagine. You'll also find the Red String of Fate monument, inspired by author Osamu Dazai's book, Memories. Home to countless works by Aomori natives, including Shikou Munakata and Yoshitomo Nara. The museum also has three stunning Chagall murals on display. One of the top mountain ranges in all of Japan. The breathtaking autumnal scenery also brings in crowds of tourists to the area every single year. Then, as winter hits, the trees are covered in a coat of frost, affectionately referred to by locals as snow monsters. Curling, skiing, snowboarding and ice skating. Aomori is a winter sports fan's dream. Asamushi is known for its top-class hot springs and friendly atmosphere.
another must-see Aomori hot spring is Sky, located at the base of the Hakoda Mountains and home of the Thousand Man Bath. The largest Jomon archaeological site in all of Japan, Sanai Marion was a settlement during the Jomon period and is home to many relics and fascinating discoveries. Kumakino site's biggest draw is its stunning stone circle. An art museum dedicated to the woodblock prints and other works of famed artist Shiko Munakata. Aomori's culinary delights. Nokedon, make your own delicious fish dish at a local market. Jinja Miso Oden is a regional spin on a traditional Japanese dish. And Niboshi Ramen's fish stock gives it a unique flavor, with miso curry milk ramen being undoubtedly Aomori's soul food. There's also scrumptious shellfish, and sushi made with only the freshest ingredients and Aomori's trademark, let's not forget, Aomori apples. This state-of-the-art museum allows visitors to enjoy the Nebita Festival all year round. It houses four to five floats from the most recent festival, giving you the chance to get up close and personal with Aomori's famed Nebita Festival. Nebita, hot springs, art, history and delicious food. What are you waiting for? Visit Aomori.